Today's campaign is going to contain a lot of Goebbels and war crimes. So hello my dear brothers and in today's video guys we're going to play as the totalist Germany. Cause for today's video guys I'll turn back the Goebbels pass which was deleted probably in April or March 2022. But now we will play this pass in July 2023. With that being said, let's start our campaign, and as always, enjoy! And obviously my main goal for now is just to start the new German Civil War. Achtung! 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 Angetreten! Befehle! Angetreten! The Constitution of the German Kaiserreich. A constitution guarantees stability. At least. Yesterday was the last bright day of the German Empire, cause after this day, every single day will be dark and horrible. So what do you need to do when people run to the banks, system is collapsing, no one has money, no one knows what to do? Of course, you need to do nothing with that, to escape any problems. I would like to do my best to destroy Middle Africa, so of course we'll send Göring to the Middle Africa. He is going to be a new Stadthalter. Sorry for my bad German, my level of knowledge of German is A1. And I actually don't know why, but this is the portrait of Wilhelm II and this modification. Uh, okay, let it be. We don't like Wilhelm II, so it's okay that he's portly. Portrait. portrait looks like this. Financial troubles in colonies? We don't give a fuck about financial problems in the German Empire. So yeah, let's dedicate as many resources to the colonies as they need. We care more about Africans and Asians than about Germans. Well, someone wants to approach bankruptcy? Hell no man, keep it running. We don't give a fuck about your bankruptcy. Everything must work. Um, we've lost the United Baltic Duchy, but you know, who cares about them? Suffragist movement gathers strength. Woman, know your limits. For real. Woman, back to your kitchen. Wait a second, expropriations? Oh hell no man, I don't want to use Internet Explorer. I'm tired of this sin. Please, delete it from the windows. And Lenin is so young again, and young October is ahead. Finally, 8th of November 1936, the whole skill revolution has officially started, and the revolution has arrived. First of all, we will start industrialization of the Western Germany. And now we just need to capture the eastern part of the Germany and reunite again. Well, the civil war isn't going as easy as I thought it would be, but still we can push German Imperial Army away, we're doing it pretty successfully. We have almost reached Czechia, and after reaching it and cutting out Bavaria as well as the northern Germany, everything will be much more easier. Mid of January 1937 we have cut out their forces in Bavaria. The same situation as in Bavaria now we've got in the northern Germany, in schleswig Holstein. In May 1939, the German Kaiserreich has finally collapsed. And after that, Germany is finally reunited. Well, we have lost Alsace-Lorraine, Nancy, Luxembourg, Wallonia or Luxembourg, and we have lost all of our colonies, plus we are at the war with Crete, but who cares about Crete? So now is the best time to rebuild Germany and take back all the sphere of influence that we had before. Meanwhile, those eastern traitors have created Kivan Mjordumorje. I don't like that alliance at all, so we will destroy them a little bit later. So at the same time when I joined the Third International as the Germany, the British Empire has been restored. Well, that was actually a huge surprise for me. Now the Third International looks a little bit different. The Black Ship. That's who we are in the leftist German society and the leftist German parties. Because we are not like the others, not like anarchists or not like social democrats or not like radical socialists. And even through our focus through line you can feel the specific energy that we have in our party and in our plans for rebuilding the great Germany. 
So on the first and the last one Congress of the German Unions, victory was held by the Goebbels and his NMDVP party. Now Germany looks even better. And the name of our country is so based. German National Worker State. Our flag is based too, as well as leader of our country, Josef Goebbels. Goebbels, Goebbels, I don't give a fuck. Well, you know, I won't say anything about that, because you know the YouTube rules, so you can read it on your own. Uh, but at least we will have some fun during that. Boys, just look at those juicy buffs that we will get from the national corporatism. Cool icon, actually. Yo, our economy is gonna be dripping cause national socialist market economy. And just look on those effects. We will remove the recovering economy. And with that, we will get a ton of good stuff. Mm-hmm. Form the Stasi. Mm, my lovely colonial empire is going to die because of this stupid Britain. Of course they're not going to survive because they've got like 15, 16 or 17 divisions. Meanwhile, only United Kingdom got like 6 to 70 divisions. Okay, Union of South Africa got like 2 divisions, but all other dudes have their divisions too, as well as French national state, who wants to reclaim their colonies too. So yeah. Goodbye, my lovely Duchess Middle Africa. But I'll be back. I promise it. I won't let that stupid ass Britain and France conquer my lands. My own lands. My lovely Africa. Jesus, man, I need to select an operative to recruit. Dmitry Medvedev is an agent of the National Marxist Party. Now we know more about you, Iron Demon. <clears throat> Брежнев. Экономика должна быть экономной. Леонид Ильич Брежнев. Если девушка красива и в постели горяча, в этом тоже есть заслуга Леонида Ильича. So the time has come to demonstrate you my knowledge of the German language. It's gonna be so funny to read all of those titles, such as Deutsche, Sozi Deutsche Sozialistische Architektur, Deutsche Arbeiterfront. Sheesh, man, Knight of the... and Ward? Oh hell no, man, this game can't be so racist. Deutschland heil, Deutschland heil, 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 Goebbels. A national populist creed? Of course, the German revolution will march forwards. So now we are not the totalists, now we are the Nationalsozialistische Deutsche Volkspartei. Because remember that even in the Ottoman Empire, that was a cool coalition between the totalists and national populists. So left and right radical politicians are even closer than you might thought. We can see it not even on the German example, but even on the example of the Ottoman Empire, Russia and other funny countries around the world. Reject modernity, embrace tradition. Uh, actually, yeah, Austrian sphere of influence is sick, so they have almost crashed the Belgrade Pact and they have crashed everything that has left from the Kievan Mezdumorje, but then it became like Polish Mezdumorje. They have even annexed Finland. Guys, look what I found, finally, new Spanish name that I need to pronounce in any way. Sindicato Internacional de Protección de los Trabajadores. Sindicato Internacional de Protección de los Trabajadores. It's 3rd of January 1940 and I guess that the war between Entente and the Third International will start right now because Sardinia has declared war on the Socialist Republic of Italy, which is in the Third International. And I guess that it's gonna be really funny. I actually don't know how, but they have even started the war against the Austrian Empire. So now everyone is fighting against Entente. In seven days, the great reborn of the Gross Germanisches Reich will happen. Through hard work, grit and determination, we have built a new Germany on the ashes of the old. Many thought that building a workers' utopia by carving out the heart of reaction was impossible, much less that it would last as long as it has. However, we have proven them wrong, and we stand poised to bring our new German revolution to the whole world. 
and after that we will go finally to the back to the world stage so we will act like a true one top G in the world. So the year 1940 is going to be the great year because in 1940 we will start to expand the Gross Germanisches Reich. In April 1940 we will make our true one come back to the world stage and also we will create a fraction named Stahlpakt. Now that we have rebuilt our glorious nation, we can finally be a major player in the world politics again. For words, for none will stop the people's empire. Well, for me, September 1940 is going to be the right time to invade Austria. So let's do it and push this option. As well as attack Lithuania, Poland, Galicia, Bohemia, but we'll attack Switzerland a little bit later. Our Blitzkrieg is gonna be so fast that no one won't understand what the hell did happen. One month has gone since our invasion has begun, the Czech Republic has capitulated Poland, Lithuania, the whole Austria is almost crashed, now we are intervening to the Illyria, Hungary, Galicia, Lodomeria and Ukraine. So in another month we will fully capitulate the whole alliance of the Dunai Adria Bund. Oh, what the hell is this? I don't even know. In November 1940, Austrian alliance has capitulated, and now I'm gonna take all of those lands. So I took everything that I could. And now I've got even more options to attack. Create a loyal national social Hungary. I'll do that. Now our German national state looks like this. I know that we've got some awful borders, but just wait a little bit to form a normal one. And plus, now Crimea belongs to the Germany. I don't want to give it back to Ukraine, this is gonna be like the pearl of Germany in the Black Sea. And now we will invade Belgium, Netherlands, Denmark and Switzerland. And Geraint, you must put like on that video, cause you see a great Hungary, I restored it in the full size. In our new Germany we hate weak countries, and there we see one weak country that has failed African invasion, is failing the Portuguese invasion, and they don't have any normal amount of forces, so they must be punished for being weak. Goodbye, Frankreich. And French army doesn't even want to defend their country, so that's gonna be even faster than it was in the real life, when German army conquered France in 40 days, I guess that we will do it by the end of the June 1941, or okay, uh, at the beginning of the July 1941. Paris was captured in a week, so in less than a month, in 28 days, France has fully capitulated, and it's gonna belong only to us. And that's the result of our war with France, so I have redrawn a border a little bit, because I didn't like the main one. And also now we've got the Sorelian, Sorelian government and the French national worker state, but the only thing is that it's like national populists. It's not even totalist or some other leftists. So yeah, this France is strange. Finally, it will happen. In September 1941, we're going to proclaim the Der Großgermanischer Nationalstaat. We have achieved our dream of establishing Germanic state right in the heart of the Europe. An empire to last for eternity. Cause German national state sounds boring. In 20 days, we will attack Russia. Or even let's do that after we proclaim a new German state. So it will look like a new part of trilogy, like the third part when you attack your worst enemy, Russian Republic, with liberals in the power. Liberals in Russia? Bruh. Großgermanischer Nationaler Arbeiterstaat. So this is the super event which is dedicated to the creation of the Großgermanischer Arbeiter Nationalstaat. All right. So Germania marches forward. National and Socialists, what comes first and what comes second? For us in the West there can be no doubt, first the Socialist Redemption, then like a hurricane, National Liberation. And actually yeah, the population of our Germany now is around 165 million people living in the Großgermanischer Nationalstaat. Well, that's even more than the population of nowadays Russia, so I like it. Now that's another deal, Reichskommissariat Ruthenian. Holy shit, look, look at that Ukrainian flag. 
so the time has come to attack Russian Democratic Federative Republic. Let's fucking go, let's fucking go. Look at the Rex Commissariats that I have established. Now we have a great Ukraine, Baltenlande, in which we have incorporated Belarus, Lithuania, Latvia and Estonia, so they doesn't even exist now at all. Like, when you complete one of those phases, it's just annexes the regions, so it, it kinda looks cool to me. Soon we will expand Ukraine and Belarus again. Okay, so I don't know why, but Russia has collapsed at one moment, as you can see. So they have left like in the south, a part of them has left in the Bur Buryatia. Really? Buryatia? Oh, uh, and yeah, those warlords, they are actually independent. We've got even state of Novosibirsk, Nkaishu, Kazakhstan, uh, Kekhanate of Hiva, Urals Tsardom, and K Kominenet Federation. And don't forget about Syndicalist Republic of Kazan. Everything that has left from Russia has capitulated, and now we are going to annex all of those lands. The only one country that has still left fighting was us as Republic of Iran. After the collapse of the Russian Empire, we have fully re-established the control under their territories. Now we have the Great Rex Commissariat Moscovian. And this shit happens sometime, but I'll give it back to the Rex Commissariat Baltenlande. Now it looks based. So by the end of the year 1943, that's the sphere of influence of Stalpakt, and my next enemy is going to be Italian bloc in face of Italy. Just Italy. Pizza, pasta, we will take whatever we want, because Italy is going to belong to us. And before that I have justified the war goal against them, so now we will attack them, annex, and they will unite with Venice. And wanna mention since that happening in Africa, because Cairo Axis is fighting against the whole Entente, plus Liberia do the same, and they are doing that pretty successfully, so you see that, like, British and French colonial empires are dying. In less than two months, Italy has capitulated. Oh yes, so we have established the Italian Social Republic with the based man Benito Mussolini. Bro is really and totally back. And I guess that now we will prepare our invasion right into the United Kingdom, probably Norway, oh and Sweden, because Sweden is neutral, we need to destroy Sweden, then we will go and destroy the United Kingdom on Norway. Yeah, Entente isn't doing good as you can see, Pkhratia Commune as well as Princely Federation are destroying the Dominion of Delhi, plus the situation in Africa is bad for the Entente, especially for France. Mm, and South America they are doing uh, pretty well, because Empire of Brazil is with them, but in the North America um, they are totally fucked because of the syndicates and Pacific states, but I guess that in this civil war combined syndicates are going to win. Like, their positions are too good to lose this shit. Now first step of our new expansion is going to be Sweden. And now we've got our new ally in the South America, is Greater Colombian Authority. It's cool to have your own ally in the South America. And the consequences of the Swedish conquering is establishment of Reichsland Scandinavian, in which we have United Sweden and Finland. Also we will add uh, Norway to them, but it will happen a little bit later, cause they are still independent. And we also got a new allies in the South America, it's Republic of Chile and Bolivia and Paraguay as their puppets. Let's go boys, let's fucking go! It's February 1945 and we have declared war on Norway and on the United Kingdom too. Well, it's not 24th of February, but it still looks epic. It's gonna be some type of special operation too. Yo boys, we are landing, we are almost landing to the Dover and to the some other British ports too. Yeah, we have landed to the Dover. A few of our invasions are going successful too, so that's going to be the collapse of the United Kingdom. Invasion to Hull was successful as well as invasion to the new castles going successful. Goodbye London, goodbye my lovely London. By the way, interesting info, London has fall on the 10th day of war. German army is unstoppable. <laughs> Pussy as bitch has flown from the United Kingdom. He can run, but he can't hide. Well, Canada is fucked, so he's probably moving to the Australia or to the New Zealand. 
Anyway, it's the part of the Australian Confederation, so yeah, he's actually moving to the Australian Confederation. Yeah, so United Kingdom has capitulated, and I don't know how the fuck did Sultanate of Egypt has appeared here. We Germany and the We World.